So far, we've seen the Xbox 360 from Microsoft and the PS3 from Sony. But what about Nintendo? Are they opting out of the next console cycle? Oh, sweet Christmas, no. Nintendo has a little something called the Revolution. And if you thought it was going to be a VR helmet, you're special. And you're very, very wrong. And now you say you want the revolution. Well, we've got one. Yes, Revolution is by far the smallest console we've ever manufactured. In its final form, it will be even smaller than this, about the size of three standard DVD cases stacked together. When you turn on Revolution and see the graphics, you will say, wow, Wi-Fi capability will be built into every Nintendo Revolution. The controller will also be very unique in ways we will share with you later. But I will tell you, we are already working on several Wi-Fi titles, each starring one of our key franchise characters. One or two Wi-Fi games will be ready for launch. And I am pushing our team to make sure Smash Brothers is one of them. Of course, we all love what Mr. Miyamoto has created over the years. But for Revolution, he is challenging his team to create something brand new. Of course, it would be foolish to ignore the franchise. We've already created the best group of game stars in history. Next generation versions of Mario and Zelda are already underway. We are redefining the term backward compatibility. That's because we have designed Revolution to be a virtual console capable of downloading 20 years of Nintendo content. You will be able to purchase great games Originally created for NES, Super NES, and Nintendo 64. The idea of a single device transporting us back to the first Excite Bike, Earthbound, or Punch Out should make us all feel young again. At least for a while. Well, okay, so it's a black box. <laughs> Jeff, revolution or revolution? <laughs> oh. Ouch. Um, no, I think, you know, Nintendo, they haven't told us a lot about it. That's the thing is they're no. keeping it secret, so it's, it's like a it's a black, black box. box. <laughs> and it's like it's, it's going to be innovative, and, you know, for revolution, we haven't really heard what's revolutionary about it. I like the idea of backwards compatibility, the idea of all the classic games, wireless controllers. Yes, right. My question is, are you going to get a wireless but light gun so I can play, light, you know, Duck Hunt, which I is one of my favorites. You know what, so. why not? Like, I'm sure that you'll be able to do that. I was really excited, as everybody was. You heard the applause and they announced that you'd be able to download right. on the internet. Right. Sure. Nintendo games Nintendo, from back in the day. Nintendo realizes there's an internet now, and I think that yeah. in and of itself is <laughs> a revolution. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think they finally right got the steps. And it is why, like, why Wi-Fi compatible right out of the box, right. which is nice. Which but they talked about, you know, DVD, which I thought was interesting. Is like, you know, they talked about how we play DVDs, but then you have to buy an attachment. It's an attachment. If you right. want to buy, play D yeah, regular DVDs, they're, they're, they're kind of a generation stuff, behind. Though. They're they're oh. still doing that. I, I think the thing is, is okay. So they're not going to show us any games. When do they plan to show it to us, and right. do they think we're actually paying attention? I mean, there are two big console launches looming in the future. Right. This was really, I think, the time they had to say, look at this, right. get excited about it, get talking about it. Nintendo always seems to be so hesitant, mm -hmm. and they shoot themselves right. in the foot. And I think this is, is it, yet are they, to get Are they example. hesitating, or do they really not have anything to show just yet? That's the question. Well, well they showed know, them, there was that Metroid Prime video that they showed, which kind of met that with was the lukewarm reaction. Well, I don't know. It was sort of something suggested. Well, no, no, right no, no, I don't mean that to be that. It was a very lukewarm reaction at the conference. It was I because mean, it was vague. They didn't tell you what right. it was. They're just like, and here's Metroid, and well, it was like, yay. Right. And Nintendo has always yeah. been the most tight-lipped of, of the three, you know, the three mm -hmm. big ones. So, right. well, two years ago, I believe it was two years ago, Iwata-san was very contrite, unusually contrite, in front of the audience, acknowledging that there had been a problem with the launch of the GameCube, and they did right. not reach the number of people, and said right there they were not going to be behind this time round. So what are they? They are behind. Yeah, and so, that's just, yeah. just clear. 
So, yeah. so what do they have then? That if they're they're trying not to be behind, they didn't really bring anything yeah. to the table. And one thing they might do is they might, you know, it sounds like they're kind of trying to really differentiate themselves from Sony and Microsoft. You know, this box it seems right. smaller. I can't imagine it's going to be as powerful as the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Maybe it'll be cheaper. You know, they could come out with a box that's right. only 199 when they launch it. Console? It's a perfect, yeah. and they've always kind of focused on games that are a little bit more innovative, not necessarily as graphics right. heavy. Here, Nintendo also has a rabid fan base. Go to the IGN oh, message board to find that out immediately. You and they're going to pick it up on day we one. We hear from yeah. them all the time. Don't Two worry. things. Two things I think are important. One, their main feature right now is something that a $20 mod chip for an Xbox can get you, and that's the entire back catalog. Sorry, it had to be said. Number two, who, who should really trust Nintendo when they haven't really dipped right. their toe into the online pool yet? Right. Now, I, I believe them when they say that they're going to have the infrastructure and that, you know, games buy for the DS, and then you'll be able to download these games online. But have they proven any of that in the past? They're all of no. a sudden saying the Internet's a big deal when just a few years ago it was all about the local experience. What happened? Well, this, and this goes back perfectly to why I think that behind closed doors they really do try to aim to be the perfect second console. Because with the other two, you're going to get that built-in yeah. Wi-Fi, you know, you know and, and the Internet experience. This is what people buy Nintendo for. It's the quality of those games. I'm almost wondering if they should give up on trying to go bigger and just hone right. in on what they do so well and using that incredible library to create good games every year. Well, hey, and what I about the it. controller? I mean, we haven't even seen yeah. that yet, you know? Is it yeah, a touch screen a black box? Yeah, it, it, touch screen controller. I mean, the controller I'm not that worried about. How different is it really going to be? Do you think they're going to come out with this wildly different controller? That's why controller? they're not showing it. Yes, that's why they're they Nintendo. Nintendo always comes out oh. with wildly different controllers.